Hey YouTube, this week I'm changing the transmission fluid on a Harley Big Twin. It's a simple drain and replace procedure, but before we get into it, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what you're feeding your bike. Harley states in the service manual you can use synthetic 20W50 or transmission lubricant. Question. Which of these products is specifically designed for a transmission? I also reached out to Royal Purple's tech department, and like Harley, they stated that you can use either 20W50 or gear oil, but they added that many of their customers report smoother shifting and quieter operation when using a gear-specific lubricant. Remember, I'm not a chemist, I just play one on TV. That said, with some common sense and a Harley manual, you can really go places. Locate the transmission lubricant dipstick on the top of the transmission. This entire procedure can be completed while on the kickstand as long as the bike is on a level surface. Remove the dipstick, wipe it clean, and then re-thread the dipstick until the o-ring makes contact. No need to tighten. Remove the dipstick again, check the fluid level. The level should be between the add and full marks on the dipstick. To drain the old fluid, Locate the drain plug on the oil pan beneath the bike. Check the service manual for the location on your specific Harley. Remove the drain plug and while the fluid drains, take the time to check for any unusual debris collected on the drain plug. It only takes a few minutes to let the fluid drain fully. You can now replace the o-ring on the drain plug and then return the plug to your bike. Tighten the drain plug to between 14 and 21 foot-pounds. If you don't have a feel for how much torque this is, it is a great idea to get yourself a torque wrench. Believe me, you wouldn't be the first guy to strip the threads on your oil pan. You can now refill the transmission fluid. Your Harley manual will likely tell you that it's a 28 ounce refill, although you never get everything out of the transmission, so it's likely going to be something less than that. Take your time, check with the dipstick a couple times and make sure you get the fluid level correct. Thanks for tuning in this week. Remember, if your Harley sits in the garage collecting dust, give it the same oil you put in your crankcase. If you ride that hog like I know most of you do, take care of that transmission and give it the gear oil it deserves.